Hello and welcome to Kelly Loves K-Pop. I am Kelly. Today we're going to do a 2023 year ahead forecast for Mama Moo. I get a lot of requests for them on the channel, so I hope you guys enjoy this. And uh, yeah, we're going to pull three cards for each month of the year and try to uh, see if we can project what they're going to be up to. Good, bad, in between. Trying to get better about uh, organizing these, <laughs> these readings. For myself so I don't get lost on what month I'm on because that kind of happens so let's go ahead and get ready for January all right we got a flyer some of coins for January oops all right <laughs> two more cards five of swords and crown of wands so we're talking about financial decisions some something they're working on it's not fully uh finished yet but we're seeing some conflict around it. And the King of Wands talks about desires, maybe one's desire over the others or the company's desire over the groups. Because we're kind of seeing that five, that one opinion inflicted over the four. So we could see that they're kind of in the midst of working on things and the back and forth between what they want versus what the company wants them to do. So there could be some of that going on. But I feel like January is a pretty normal time for, for everyone to be reevaluating re their directions, what they're doing, where they want to go, that kind of thing. The future, uh, you know, plans for the entire year. So that doesn't seem too inconsistent with uh, what's normal, I think, for the companies. So, yeah, I think it's a new year, new ideas coming out. Uh, maybe not everyone agrees on those, but someone is enforcing their will at the end of the day uh, to get kind of pushing their power around a little bit. So hopefully it's the girls. Hopefully it's um, the ones that have a little bit more uh, sway with the company stepping in, sewing, saying, hey, this is our work. But it could be the company also saying, hey, we're paying for it. You're going to end up doing what we want. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of, kind of like those times, which most groups have with their companies. So that's January. Let's go ahead and do February. <clears throat> Nine of Cups. That's good. It means uh, maybe their argument was successful. You have the Wheel of Fortune, which means maybe luck was on their side in that. From February, you know, maybe they called something being a trend and it turns out they were right. This means I think the girls are having Ace of Vessels though. Yeah, Ace of Bustles can, Ace of Cups, you know, can mean like you had to look out for yourself first instead of caring for others, showing others your love, you had to love yourself the most. So maybe, you know, they made a case and an argument about what they wanted and maybe they they succeeded in this. Like I said, there's an aspect of like luck. So maybe something synchronistic or coincidental like showed up to kind of push things in their favor. You know, sometimes like, uh, a word or a phrase kind of becomes a trend. Maybe there's a song that the company didn't like, but now the genre or the concept of that song, they're seeing it becoming trendy. So they said, you know what? Never mind. You can, we can go ahead and do that. Um, so it seems like the girls are, are uh, celebrating that for February. So something, something they were right about. And maybe that means they're going to have a little bit more free reign coming up this year. Maybe they'll actually get listened to a little bit more when it comes to uh, the direction they want to go with the group, which I would love to see for them. So that's February. Let's see, March. Got four here, but we'll take it. March. All right, six of coins. Again, that crown of wands. Uh, this is your Knight of Swords and your Two of Cups. So there's a back and forth. Seems like more arguments in March. This one worries me a little bit because Two of Wands in reverse talks about kind of a union falling apart a little bit. And it could just mean like they're not in agreement with their company or that. But sometimes it can mean like a contract coming to an end. Two things that were together are now separating. And if we have kind of this give and take no longer happening, uh, the Crown of Wands and, and the Knight of Swords talking about 
could be either two people, because we do have the two of vessels, or we could be talking about someone imposing like their will, their desires over some other people's ideas. You know, someone fighting kind of with emotion over, uh, winning over kind of logic there. Um, so it could be someone's kind of choosing to follow their emotions more than, than what they think is like the accepted as the best answer. You know what I mean? You're, this is this is hard over over your mind. Um, so someone could be making a tough decision because they're not feeling like they're getting what they're wanting or what they deserve in a, in a way. So March may be a tough month. Again, it doesn't have to be music. Um, it could be a friendship. It could be a whole bunch of things. Could be working with a television station. Could be some other contract they have. But it seems like someone's going with what they feel is right for them over what people say looks best for them on paper, basically. So March may be uh, some hard decisions. Some hard decisions, but somebody's not getting what they want out of a deal. So Let's go into April. We definitely have the two um, from last month. So uh, there's still discussion, I think, happening. Um, the Champion of Swords too, or the, the Knight of Swords can talk about the speed in which things also happen. So, you know, I think it's just saying whatever happened in March is spilling over into April. But we're seeing I, someone, things are moving ahead even though someone's ideas weren't fully put into place. This is really interesting. It's like moving ahead without someone or, or someone's idea. And the queens, a lot of times to me, are people who are kind of doing things for other people. So it could be songwriters they work with. They're moving on without them. So someone who does creative things. It could be a choreographer they're moving on without. Because, yeah, they're separating from someone. And it's someone who does kind of a creative, creative job for them. But it's someone, they're moving forward without it because they feel like this is the best thing for them. So again, either they're trying to change some aspect of their their visual, of their performance. There's something they're trying to actively change to feel like it's moving to the next level. And they might just have to be leaving some of their original creative teams behind for that. So that could be what this was, who they're parting, parting with. Like they're discussing it probably in March and April. Maybe that's when it's really going to happen that we'll see them either come back or, or start start to actively promote with this new kind of creative team or members of that team with them. All right. All right. I'm kind of getting a lot of repeating cards for them, which means I think they're stuck in a lot of the same problems in 2023. Um, May, so we have the double again. Outside influences, um, the Ace of Vessels, where they have to look out for themselves more than other people, and the Wheel of Fortune. Now, again, the Wheel of Fortune deals with luck, um, but also can deal with things feeling like they are out of your hands. Someone could be dealing with some personal problems, something, some unforeseen circumstances coming in and kind of making them focus on themselves. I don't know if that's any kind of injury or, or personal family circumstance or, it, you know, it, it could be even down to COVID. You know, we're not, it could be a lot of things, but the devil tells me it's some kind of outside circumstance making someone kind of worry about themselves. And it's something that's out of their control. Or a specific member is going to have to take some time for themselves. Let's go ahead and go for June. The Eight of Wands, Seven of Vessels, and the Devil again. So Eight of Wands can mean communication or they can mean something happening more rapidly. We're seeing Seven of Vessels, so there's a lot of op uh, options, um, choices to be made, and then the Devil again. The first thing that comes to my mind is kind of getting information that raises more questions. Um, someone could be intentionally causing them to question things that they're moving forward with. And it could be questioning choices that they made. 
uh, earlier in the year. Also, it kind of makes me think come June, there's going to be like multiple projects. They may feel like they don't know where to dedicate their time and focus to because there's just a lot going on for them. Could be overwhelming. So it could be that like the energy is really high. There's a lot going on and, and people are just overwhelmed, especially if they were maybe just having to take some time off. They kind of feel like they had gone from worrying about themselves to like trying to catch up. And there's just so much to catch up on that it's it's hard to deal with. So June could be a very busy month for the girls, good or bad. It seems like maybe there's a lot of choices and a lot of things going on to keep their hands full in June. So let's do July. All right, so July, I'm seeing um, kind of this passionate person or this um, could be solo. because Sometimes it's the person that focuses on themselves and their personal desires. Five of Wands means, uh, it could mean a lot of the voices and a lot of the people putting in their their opinions uh, is finally easing up and eight of vessels means moving on from something so crown of wands could be a person or it could be that desires like things that were holding it back from um being sorted out are finally moving on could be also there was an idea for something somebody wanted that they're leaving behind Maybe due to being overwhelmed, they're just like, "Hey, I'm just I I might have had this like personal project. I'm gonna let, I'm just gonna give it up. Uh, there's there's too much uh, complication in it, so I'm just gonna move on to something else. Could be someone finally letting something off their plate, um, <clears throat> and it could be a cancellation of something people were looking forward to as well. Um, in the very, very small chance, it could mean travel. Sometimes eight of eight of vessels, eight of cups means travel, but with these two cards, I don't necessarily see that unless we see a single member kind of going. Maybe there's like a festival or something where the whole group was supposed to go, and maybe only one member goes and does like a solo show instead. Could be something along those lines, but that would be on a very, very small chance of that. Let's go ahead and do uh, August. personal card again and the seven of coins again i keep seeing like one member struggling with something uh making travel or moving forward with projects a little more difficult in 2023 because we can we can see the distinct three members here one member's here and this member is still in reverse member is still looking for something personal they're having to take care of and it could just be even on a broader spectrum saying members next year are going to focus more on solo than group stuff uh, we could just be seeing that like there's this direct kind of conflict of should we do kind of a more group thing should we push group things forward or should i focus on myself seven coins means more work done in that than that avenue so or it could be an aspect where they're trying to simultaneously do group projects and work on individual projects i just do think that's causing problems and slowing them down uh, a lot more than they thought it would so there could be that kind of aspect too. So we're gonna move on to September. Exactly three. I'm seeing a lot of conflict for them next year and I don't like that. It makes me upset for them. Yeah, not that they won't get stuff done. It just seems like it's it's just harder for them than it used to be. Um, cause the 10 of vessels means like things aren't working out picture perfectly the way you wanted them to. They're kind of, you, you kind of thought you would feel better when you got there and then you get there and you realize it's not as satisfying as you thought it would be. And then, uh, three of coins really talks about teamwork, people working together and they're not. So eight of swords talks about kind of being stuck. So someone who wanted solo work, maybe getting pushed into a corner that um, isn't allowing them to work with the group as much. And I just don't know if this is a direct talk about Huyin since she's the one that is no longer part with the company, but still part with the girls. If come, uh, what, September, she's struggling to be able to work with the group. Like, you know, promises were made maybe that things would be a certain way and she's finding out, 
maybe they're they're not you know it's like as time goes on it's getting harder and harder to like reconnect or or just organize things uh the way she was told they would be able to be organized something like that so then we're gonna go into october okay it went back in two coins Well, two of coins usually means finding balance. So in October, maybe things are settling a little bit better. But then at the same time, I see the Queen of Cups and the Lovers in Reverse. And for some reason, even though this is upright, I keep seeing this like cord tightening kind of like around it. Like, I don't know, I still kind of get this feeling like making the best out of a situation, like working with what you have to get a job done, but like, Still being very, like, unhappy. And this really does talk about someone feeling still, like, left out. Like, they're managing. They're doing what they have to do. But they still feel like they're not included. Like, all the people that are supposed to care for them are not caring for them. It could be also... We could be... T I keep kind of focusing on solo members. But this could be also very much about the group making do with what they have. Even though they feel like they're not being cared for. So it could be um, by the company kind of like, as you see, like this side is still smaller than this side. Someone's still making a lot more profit than the other group or the other side. Um, you know, they're still making sure it's regulated that this side does better, but the, there's still a back and forth. They're still trying to work together, but it's like, it's not going unseen and so, one side is still feeling very left out, uncared for. People are not fulfilling like their obligations to them. All right, so November. What's going on? Is this the emperor right here? I think that's the emperor. All right, ace of swords. So again, we're seeing kind of either a lack of or breaking away of like a structure that they've been kind of probably fighting with for the last few months. The world means they're back, uh, could be back in the public eye, you know, and then the apprentice of swords is kind of taking a new approach, um, or trying something new, having a new idea about things. Um, so there should maybe with all the struggle, they've implemented some new, uh, structures ideas because the old ones were not working so gonna breaking away from the kind of tried true old methods to start the beginnings of something more useful to them more efficient for them but the world makes me think possibly come back possibly come back in november either group or solo some kind something some kind of public again uh appearance in november but maybe things are finally starting to move forward with them with a lot of the problems they've been having. So let's do December. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Six of Swords and the Chariot. Okay, again, we're moving on to something new. Progress to, you know, move forward. And then we got the Seven of Swords. So something's moving forward. It's not perfect. It's still not perfect. There's still one aspect, again, a person, company, something that is still putting their own wants and desires and like funneling like resources more for them than the others. But this seems like things are definitely in a better place in December. And there's something they're moving forward with that they were not fully on board with before. The Six of Swords talks about a change. It talks about a change in the way you think about things and the way you do things and your your routines. It talks about a big kind of change transition into something. Um, but yeah, the new system or the new ideas, they're not perfect. Again, it, it, it I just feel like either it's the company or it's like some kind of favoritism. Where, where one aspect just always gets more there's like one person that always makes sure they still get more and i just don't want to i don't want to be bold enough to say it's a member of the group because it definitely could be the company 
um, just making sure they always had that one bit more of power or money or whatever over the girls. But it could still be talking about one member still gets favoritism. One member still wants to make sure they have a little bit more freedom than the others. I'm not bold enough to like again look into this if the girls are having those kind of problems because I just want to do a base reading over the year. But there is one, one party of somewhere that's always kind of making sure their cut's the biggest piece of the pie. So... But I do think overall the group is going to be happier come the end of next year. Like the first half of the year seems really, really tough for them. Uh, but the second half of the year, things, things start moving. New things start going in place. I think it's going to help them uh, get more in a the direction they want to go. But like I said, it's not perfect. So that's what I see for Mama Moo in 2023. I hope you enjoyed uh, this reading. I'll definitely be doing more readings on the girls throughout the year. So we can catch up on what's going on with them and what parts of this reading uh, ring true and, uh, you know, expand on, you know, what points, you know, were standing out throughout the year. So we'll definitely check in on them and see how they're doing. But I hope you enjoyed this. Again, if you want to order any personal readings, I have an Etsy shop where I can do this kind of reading for you um, or any group you want. Uh, check out my Etsy shop and coffee page. Uh, if you'd like to donate and support the channel. So I appreciate you guys. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you again soon. Bye.